support the road because of that. This way. At least I can tell you. Now, see, so two members you have devoted. And you have inserted one member. And you name the members vector spaces as X and Y. You name the vector spaces as X, X and Y. Now, these two members, the bar forces are known. These two bar forces are known. When you come here, these two bar forces are known. Now, if you now come at this job, you see, you can solve the vector space X. Now, I tell you, you can solve the vector space. I'll again tell you, from here, you can do solve two bar forces. If you come here, you can solve two bar forces. If you come here, you can solve two bar forces. If you go there, you can solve these two bar forces, which means the vector space x you can solve. Am I clear? Am I clear? Now, once you know the vector space x, if you come at this joint, you can solve vector space y. If you can solve vector space y, then if you come and write j, you can solve vector space 7. I will repeat this question again. Come here. We have solved the vector space 1. This is okay. We solve 2. This is okay. We solve 3. This is okay. Now we have seen, have you solved 4? No. No. Four vector spaces we have not solved. We could not solve. Now, if you come here, you have removed these two members and replaced those two members with a single member. Because we have maintained the basic triangular configuration of the truss. That we have maintained. We have maintained the right member at the lower point. That we have maintained. And we have observed that if we take Momentum of this point, if we take equilibrium of vector side of vector axis, and momentum of this point, this force comes out no matter what is the member configuration here. This will be this, that, this will be a single member there. He said a portion divided by the The final calculation does not matter. We take it over. So we will not have interest in it. I think you have interest in it. This is the this is why this method can be worked. Taku and Kibuna, I'm Jokun Janda, when I know that this particular force is independent, whether the configuration is like this or the configuration is like this. So, whatever vector space I solve here, 7, because it J is already known to me. Seven space I know. No, now it is known to me. I give no regard to vector spaces X and Y because those are just auxiliary spaces. I just have used them for my purpose, for my advantage. Now I will resolve them. Once this vector space 7 is known, you come back to this way. You come back to this way. Now you sit down. You know vector space 7. Once you know vector space 7, now vector space 4 can be solved. So, because J is known, T is known, 7 is known, J is known, 3 is known, and so on, 4 can be solved. Once you can solve 4, you can get vector space 5 solved, and so on and so on. This is how the thinking process is solved. You need not, you need not apply the trick for this members, not what you have done. Because when you know these vector spaces, these spaces adjacent to many members. One of the 7 is known. Many of the bar forces get automatically discovered. This is the truth. Do you have any question?
স্যার বলছি এই মানে আমরা ওই এটাকে রিপ্লেস দুটো মেম্বারকে রিপ্লেস করে একটা করলাম তো ওইটার মানে মানে যে পয়েন্টে আমাদের ফোর্সটা দিচ্ছি মানে ডি ইর মাঝে যে ফোর্সটা দিচ্ছি ওই পয়েন্টেই কি আমাদের মানে এই মেম্বারটি নিতে হবে হ্যাঁ তারপর আমি বলবো তো ট্রাস আই থিং হ্যাভ টু স্যাটিসফাই দা বেসিক ক্যারেক্টার অফ আ ট্রাস ইউ হ্যাভ টু মেইনটেইন দা ট্রায়াঙ্গুলার কনফিগারেশন আর যে পার্টিকুলার পয়েন্টে তুমি লোডটা দিচ্ছ সেটা একটা মেম্বার না দিলে কি হবে দা দ্যাট মেম্বার উইল আন্ডারগো শেয়ার শোনো বাবা ট্রাস্ট মেম্বারস আর মেম্বারস উইচ আর সাবজেক্টেড টু অ্যাকচুয়াল ফোর্স ওনলি দে ক্যান নট টেক শেয়ার বিমস ক্যান টেক শেয়ার সো তুমি যদি এখানকার একটা মেম্বার দাও দাও তারপরে <laughs> 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 <laughs>